flipped 120 points because of these heavy weights moving a little bit lower. But let's uh, get straight to the chat with uh, Sanjay Parikh of uh, Soham Asset Managers, who joins us on the show. Hi, Sanjay. Uh, good afternoon and good to see you. And first of all, congratulations. You and your team have had a good last one-year run. I was just looking at some of your uh, peers as well. And you all have done well. So kudos to you all. And I'm happy for your investors as well. But let's discuss yeah. about the way ahead. You know, I recall the last time we chatted, you were talking about your a bit of an under, relative underweight stance on the tech space. But you're yes. increased weightage, but still in comparison to the benchmark, a little bit lower. What's right. the current, uh, uh, you know, view on the IT space? We've got TCS, we had Tata Alexi that came out with a set of numbers. And the street right. believes that the worst is behind and things will look up from here on. What about you? Yeah, so Nigel, uh, this is how I, we think about it. I mean, over the last two years, we had significant underweight on IT. And... Uh, uh, you know, just last month, um, we felt that, you know, while growth this year will be lower and uh, this is not going to be a great year, while it may recover a little bit, but, uh, you know, from here on, when you look at markets and the valuation, and then when you look at tech for the higher return ratios, uh, with a low FI25 growth rate, but 26 if things get better, in sync with the lower interest rates that Fed is talking about, then, you know, while the visibility on 26 is still low, uh, but there could be a case of making 30 to 15% return with dividends. And that's where we reduced our underweight and, um, uh, and, and that's where we invested in two of them, but we are still underweight. So, uh, you know, as I said that we still feel that, uh, uh, you know, overall growth this year is going to be uh, I'm talking of broader growth will be lower. Certain companies may do well, which are mid-sized companies, uh, which are into niche space. But otherwise, uh, this year is going to be tough. So, so we're going to be still cautious, but we, we've increased our weight in the last one. Mm. Did I catch you saying that you have uh, two stocks that you own in the tech sector? Which ones? Yeah, so we own Infosys and HCL Tech, both of them. Okay. Uh, we don't have any mid-cap IT company as yet, uh, but these are the boats where uh, we've increased our weight last month. Okay. Why not Wipro? Because in the last one month, the dark horse which has performed very well is Wipro. Since June, the stock is up 28%. Uh, so valuations were reasonable relative to peers. So when you had to pick, why not a Wipro? What worked right. against it? I mean, clearly, yes, it's done exceptionally well. Of course, again, we saw their leadership transition. And, you know, at times when there is a transition, uh, I mean, Wipro is a great company. I mean, absolutely no doubt about it. It's just that if you take the last 10-year growth rate versus the larger peers, uh, it's been weak. Uh, and then we saw a leadership transition. So it could be both ways. Uh, you can One can look at it positively, um, but it can even be, you know, taking them to more time. So while valuations were comfortable and hence you saw it significantly outperforming from a lower point, but um, we chose to invest in another two where we are comfortable in the leadership in both the companies. Mm. Sanjay, hi, good to have you on the show. So, you know, as I can see from the document here, uh, some of your bigger, biggest overweights continue to be from the capital goods space and I think even uh, construction. So basically the economy facing side of the market, right? So what yes. gives you the comfort? And I just want to understand the profile of stocks. I mean, I, I'm not sure. I don't have the stock specific list here. If you could tell us, that'll be helpful. I mean, right. I just want to understand whether you'd be uh, okay owning the likes of, a, of an ABB or a Siemens, uh, which are now trading at 80, 90 times forward earnings. No, that's not our style, and we missed out also at lower levels. You know, our average price earning of our portfolio is 16 times, and uh, we almost shiver when there are price earnings of 60, 70, 80 times. And some of them, from 60 times, they're going to 100 times or 90 times. Uh, I mean, they're great companies, uh, and as I said, we missed out. Uh, but, you know, we will play our style, uh, and also introspect that where could we learn. But uh, we don't own them. Uh, and we, of course, own Larson and Tubro. Um, and one of the companies in uh, road construction, and one of them, of course, we disclose. So uh, Solar Wilson is what we own, uh, where we, we owned, bought it way early, last four or five months back. Uh, and then overall domestic, we are positive. Um, uh, 
uh, you know, the whole auto water ancillary space uh, broadly in neutralish, but we are positive on that and enterprise would buy in. Um, uh, cement DS, yes, uh, we are positive. We only we reduced recently, uh, and that's a disclosure, uh, our weight in cement uh, because we thought that, it, that the valuations are really, really rich now. So we are overweight, but the degree of overweight we've reduced. We raised our cash this month. Uh, and our own stocks, we have reduced our weight where we think that they run up too fast. And this is even, uh, you know, as I said, in the uh, in in one of the metal companies, on cement, we have reduced our exposure. We also reduced our exposure a little bit to telecom. So so that's where we are right now. But overall, domestic theme, uh, domestic overweight uh, uh, and global underweight is what we we've, uh, we've done over the last two years, and it's worked. Okay, all right. Okay, domestic positive and global underweight is uh, the way you all have played it. Got it. Sanjay, I also want to ask about the transportation space. You know, we just had a bite coming in from Karan Adani, and he's saying that on Adani ports, well, he, he believes that that guidance is very much gettable. And he also said that maybe they could be interested in Concord at the right value. Now, that's one of the stocks that's yeah. done very, very well. And I think on transportation, you'll have a relatively higher weight in comparison to the benchmark. You'll have Adani ports, you'll have delivery as well. Tell us more about yeah. that. You've gotten at the right price. What do you do from here? Yeah, so I mean, it's been you know we we made hundred percent plus return in the stock, uh, and uh, you know this stock I've been following now for well thirteen years, and you've seen the transition of that company from uh, you know uh, less than hundred million to now five hundred million tons that they will reach, and then moving up to a thousand uh, million tons. So it's pretty large. It's a it's an absolutely a great moat, uh, you know. You every and then they they are moving from just a port company to an end to end services company, um, and and clearly the whole you know the ports the whole if you see the map of India they almost covered lot of it in terms of I mean, they're gaining market share, uh, and and of course the, this is a very very profitable business. Uh, with margins at 68, 70% margins in the port business. Uh, and it's a mode which will grow at maybe 15 to 20% um, uh, because they gain market share and then acquisitions also help them. So it's a fantastic company which we will want to hold for a longer term. Uh, and, uh, you know, as I said that, um, uh, you know, there's a big operating leverage as well. Uh, of course, always the valuations in these markets are not cheap. Uh, but that's what we think that, you know, maybe six months, uh, it's okay if it doesn't perform uh, if you have a horizon of three to five years. So we like uh, the space. Uh, delivery is what we own. Uh, the whole, uh, you know, uh, the space, the growth is not great uh, where delivery is positioned. Um, uh, you know, uh, so that space, uh, overall sector growth is less uh, and hence uh, it is taking some more time, but as a company, their execution will be very, very positive. Uh, E-commerce growth has been laggard, uh, that uh, we've seen it, um, but they're very, very competitive, and we believe that in the gaining market share, uh, fantastic technology, and we believe, again, uh, you know, they have a critical mass size. They do 70 crore parcels. Um, they've gained, again, market share. Uh, so we believe as growth comes back uh, in the e-commerce segment, and even on the partial truck load segment, um, they will certainly benefit. Uh, but uh, delivery is not done well in the last one year, but that's okay for us. You know, we'll hold on sure. for. Sure, sure, sure. You're saying three to five years. I hope people are listening to you and people who are coming into this market right now, if they can have that kind of a view, I think it'll be a lot safer, right? Just before we let you go, Sanjay, you mentioned that you're also raising cash levels. I think you're around 6% uh, now. Uh, in yes. terms of cash? Yes, we were at 6%. We have further raised now. We are almost at 10% plus. I mean, ah, normally okay. we exceed 10%. Uh, but, uh, you know, in the interim, we'll correct it. Correct it. But we are almost, uh, we've raised our cash uh, and we've, we've booked profits in our own stocks. We believe that there is froth uh, even in the stocks we own. But uh, I'm saying they're overvalued and not say froth. And hence, we've reduced our weight to some extent in materials, steel, uh, I mean, metals, uh, 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 and even in telecom. Uh, so that's how 
think about it. You're, you're okay to hold it, Sanjay, because I don't know, I, mean, I think a lot of managers are looking for that dip where they can uh, deploy cash. Yesterday, we were talking to the managers at PPFAS. Their cash levels have risen to almost 16%. So I don't envy your position really in a market like this. But then uh, what's the way forward? I mean, where would you deploy if you, if you, you know, start getting uh, uh, one of those, you know, odd drop days? Yeah, so Sulbi, we we have a mandate. We say that we don't take cash calls, and and we will. So we said we will not exceed ten percent uh, uh, on a secular basis. Uh, and in the case of extreme fraud, we've taken a permission to go to fifteen percent. But that's it. Uh, we don't, and we don't believe that we are in any uh, such stage to raise cash. Uh, that's our view uh, to a big level, at least in the larger cap space. What is uh, it is overvalued and maybe you know we could see three to five percent correction for but for that you don't raise cash uh, so in larger caps i think it could be three to six months of time correction three to five percent of price correction uh, and uh, and it's done i mean i mean so it's not some, something that we are in a ballooning stage in middle and small cap yes we are very cautious there are elements of froth and we stay away with it but at the same time you know, we have one of the companies, uh, you get opportunities in mid and small cap. So you have to look for them and in cricketing terms, play a loose ball, not play all the balls and you get out. So you just play a loose ball and you wait for the right stock and you in, invariably every month uh, in larger caps also you get opportunities, you know. So I can I can tell you six months back, we, HPCL, BPCL were at great bargains. Three months back, Indus Tower came at a great bargain. Earlier, uh, you know, Kotak, which had a temporary issue, you got into a good bargain. Uh, and, and so on in the middle, the non ferrous space, uh, we all have covered well. You know, Vidanta came at a very, very good level. So each of the larger cap stocks also you get opportunities. You just have to be a little contra in your thinking. And, and as I said, play a loose ball. Uh, and in mid cap, small cap, be more cautious. That's our strategy. Sanjay, great conversation. Thank you for joining in and enjoy your weekend. Need to get into that break. As always, we'll get you a check on.